Hey guys, Nick here with another episode of the Mofi Minute. Catching you up on all the mobile fidelity news every week right here. If you love the audio file stuff, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out over here. All right, guys, this is the week we've all been waiting for. The Stevie Ray Vaughns are here. That's right. If you haven't gotten your Stevie Ray Vaughn one step, couldn't stand the weather one step yet, and you pre-ordered, it's probably on its way or you've already gotten it or it's sitting at your doorstep right now and you're watching at home watching this video. We got our allotment today. There's a nice stack of them going out, coming in here. I know you're all wondering if I have any extras and unfortunately, I do not think I do. We have a pre-order list here at the store um, which you can always get a hold of us and get on for all the, the future one-step releases. Um, but I think this allotment is taken. So, uh, big news. Obviously, we've all been waiting, some of us, over a year for this release. Happy to finally have it in. Um, so, yeah, fantastic. Excited to get this. Obviously, the limited is 7,000. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with what a one-step is, I seem to get this question a lot. The Ultra Disc one-step is the highest end pressing that Mobile Fidelity or anyone right now makes. They've cut some of the steps out of making a vinyl record. In short, um, I can go into you go to their site. They have it way more in detailed. Uh, basically, instead of you know they cut it to a lacquer and they stamp them right from the lacquer or right from the stamper. They don't. They have to keep making them over and over. They're going to make 500 or 600 with that stamper, and then they have to make a new stamper. So, cuts processes out. You get a superb product. It is a superior product. They're limited edition. Um, they come in a cool box. Um, this one's number 5,868 out of 5,000. So, um, yeah, if you don't have one now and you're looking for one, get one as soon as you can because they are all sold out. And we're going to talk about what's coming next. Blood, Sweat, and Tears is the next title. And those are almost sold out. So if you don't have a pre-order on Blood, Sweat, and Tears, head over to the MoFi site, Mo Mobile Fidelity site, um, Music Direct, and, and try to get on for those. I know Janus Jop and Pearls are still available um, for now. Again, these go quick. So, all right, guys, we made it to episode 20, which is so awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching over this whole, most of part of a year. Last week, you guys were awesome and showed out in droves. So not only did you wipe me out of Bob Dylan, All Mercy, Bob Dylan, John Wesley Harding, self-titled, you wiped Mobile Fidelity the label out of Miles, Jag Miles Davis, Jack Johnson that I had hinted on my previous episode were still available for $50 or $60 on their site. When I talked to him this week, I said, hey, how did they go? You know, can I get, I think I, I ordered one to show on the video and they're like, they are all gone. I said, oh, well, how, you know, how many did you had? He said more than 50. So thanks so much for watching and buying records like crazy. It helps me out. It gives me more clout. It gives, you know, uh, they might open some more doors for me. Uh, again, that was a huge tip. You guys went out and bought every single one of them from, from them. And uh, it makes me look really good. So thanks so much. Uh, again, I will have these. These are back in stock. At the moment of doing this video, they're not on my website yet. I'll put them on later today, Friday today. Um, so what's coming? We're looking past Steve Ray Vaughan. We know that's, that's done. There is a mystery truck coming. When? I don't know. It's coming sometime probably in the later part of this month of January. Uh, we don't know what's on it. I know it's a restock. So there's not going to be anything new. No run DMC is not on it. That title has been officially kind of put to the side. It's not been canceled, but it's kind of uh, on hold. There's no new titles on this truck, but I think there's a lot of restock. Um, again, they don't really know what's on it. Um, until the truck's on its way, I don't really get word of what's coming. So that is coming. The bad news is that RTI, the people who make all these wonderful records over in California, are having staffing issues like just about everybody else in the country. Uh, so records are slowing down. They're not pumping out as many records as they'd like, um, and we're not going to be getting them as fast as we like. So if you had your eye on maybe another MoFi and a store or maybe 
my store or on the website, music direct or something, you might want to pick it up because it might be months before you get another shot at it. Even for stuff like, like I'm out of Weezer Blue. I think I got a Keb Mo left. I got some regular stock left. But once that stuff's gone, I'm not going to have more for months, you know, unless it's on this mystery truck. And the mystery truck usually only has five titles on it at a time because they, you know, they make a thousand or 1500 of them and you do five titles at 1500 and that fills up a truck. So, so yeah, just, just so you got a heads up, uh, we are going to get another record, a little record pinch here in the short term. So that stinks. RTI slowing down. That's never a good thing for us collectors. All right. Now, because you guys sold Mofi out of Jack Johnson, and Miles Davis, which I'm so stoked that you guys did that. I'm so excited that you did that. I got another awesome tip for you. Super vinyl tip. That's right. These Elvis Costello, Burt Backrack, Painted for Memories are on Super Vinyl and limited to 2,000. In fact, when you go to their website, you can they limit you two per person. They will not let you buy a bunch of these up. So why is this such a big deal? Well, the, Miles, the Bob Dylan Desire Super Vinyl sold out in a day. But somehow... They still have Costello and Burt Backrack Super Vinyls. They are at $60, which is really pretty cheap because these are going for, I don't know, over 100 right now in the open market. The other thing to look out for was when this is a redone of a title. So they did this title on regular, uh, you know, 33 and a third MoFi five years ago. When those went out of print, the price on Discogs and eBay was over $250. So, not just from a listening standpoint, because I love Elvis Costello and Burt Backrack. This is a really kind of a chill, kind of a cool record that they got going on here. Not only is it a good record, but if you don't like it, you won't have any problem getting rid of it in the future. So, head on over, pick these up. Like I said, they're 60 a pop, which is the cheapest you're ever going to find them because they were limited. They only made 2,000, which is super low. It is the first super vinyl title they released. So this is the first of that new series. So go over and scoop these up. These are going to sell out right away. Musicdirect.com has them. MoFi may have them as well. There's your juicy tip for the week. All right. We had an awesome week here at the store. We got some stuff traded in. Check this out. So these aren't on my website. You're going to have to call for these. I got a John Lennon Mind Games sealed. Obviously presumed mint. I, I can't open it. Uh, $120 for a brand new sealed Mind Games. I remember when we had these new in the store. We brought these in when these were a brand new release. Man, maybe a decade over by now. You want that, you're going to have to call. I got a Michael McDonald. Uh, $80 on this bad boy. Mint, it is it is opened. Um, and then I got a sealed Melissa Manchester with this hype sticker. We only have 35 on it. This is original sealed too. So... Don't want to get into that too much, but we do get used mobile fidelities in from time to time and like to highlight that. So thanks so much guys for watching me through 20 episodes. We have a morning show that me and Annette have been doing every Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. We also have the new vinyl roundup on Saturdays as soon as I can get it up with all the new vinyl, not just the mobile fidelity stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Here's to another 20 episodes and beyond. We'll see you next week.